Good morning, everybody. And a fine morning it is. Just after sunset. As sunrise. Oh, it's truth. That's how early it is. <laughs> Don't know the... Di Hello. <laughs> Don't know the difference between sunrise and sunset. But it is early morning. And it's about two weeks since I last saw you. We've managed to achieve quite a bit. And let's have a look around. Well, let's very quickly have a look around because we've got a lot to do today. Shut the door. Two boxes of eggs. Well done, chickens. Well done, Mrs. Gaz, for feeding the chickens, taking care of them. They're all supposed to be Cornish whites, apart from the rooster. But they're all a decidedly mucky shade of black. I don't know what they've been up to. Hey, you lot are in for a shock anyway. If not today, then tomorrow. Dogbeard will be coming to join us. He'd be out of quarantine. So, right. Let's have a look. We'll start with this. Well, obviously, the trees in the garden have gone. Um, the trees out here have gone. You can see we've got a, some of the wood left over from the, uh, the lumberjack when he was here. Um, starting to clear up and open up this field a wee bit. A lot of the rubbish at the top of the field has gone as well, which is great. Um, I've still got these couple of gates here. I'm still undecided whether to sell them or keep them. Might find a use for them. Uh, let's have a look. What else have we got up here? Um, oh, I completely forgot to get that out of there. Oh dear, I have to, I have to get that. So we've cleared a lot of the rubbish up here. Still haven't found a buyer for the uh, the old tanker. I'll give it another couple of weeks on eBay, see if we can get rid of it. Um, down here, one of the first things that you're going to notice is that some of the uh, equipment in here has changed it a little bit. Still got the same tether. We've added a set of mowers, bought these second hand. These are the um, X301 and X8 Varias which give us um well basically they they windrow as they mow row as you mow there you go as a new slogan for them pottinger row as you mow um so yeah that's that's gonna save um two sweeps over the field to cut it and mow and windrow it do it in one instead and with a big enough tractor we can put both of those on the front and we can put the baler on the back and we can mow and bale and wrap into silage in one sweep of the field real time saver the rostel mash uh, cleaned up a treat absolutely beautiful it's almost brand new i from what i can tell from the logbook it's only had one season on it which is why it's in such good condition and it's i said in the last vlog that it was a three and a half thousand litre hopper it's not it's a four and a half thousand and of course that's a five meter header um nice right what have we been up to over here well as you can see the farmyard is looking a lot cleaner and tidier a lot of the weeds have gone a lot of the rubbish has gone um i starting to get things organized we had a a good search around all the buildings and the lofts and god knows what else and i just jump over there we got um well we've got a dozen straw bales here we've got a dozen straw bales still in the cow shed um we've got a dozen silage bales here and we'll use these ones for filling this thing to make total mixed ration um, still haven't found the water point for filling this, but we'll get on to it. There's those couple of square bales that we found. Nothing much has happened in there, other than just sweeping the floor. Um, out here... Oh, forgot to shut the door last night. Bit cleaner in here, bit tidier. You can see still got a dozen round bales there. Tidied up in here a bit. 
See, there's more of those fences that go with those gates, so we might be able to make some sort of pens with them. Um, yeah, so... Around here, not a lot changed. Um, that one's a little bit too high for an old man like me to jump. Let's just shut the gate again. Uh, right, so most of the rubbish there is gone. Tidied this area up a bit. These are surplus um, milk churns. I need to get them off to the dairy because we can get a little bit of money for them, selling them off. And you probably noticed my cash in the top right of this the screen. Um, you're going to see a lot of stuff in a minute that's new, and you're going to wonder, Gaz, how on earth did you do it for less than 39,000? Well, I'll give you the numbers and crunch it for you. Right, we've got one of them. Um, rather than the regular new model, the rounded model, got one of these old square ones, and half the price, even though it's brand new. As you can see, we've rounded up all the empty IBCs and all of the old pallets, waiting for the guy from the pallet company to come and pick them up. Also, uh, waiting for word back from the uh, the fertilizer company as to what they want done with these IBCs, whether they're going to pick them up or we've got to take them back to them or take them to a third party or whatever. They're going to give us a call anyway. Hopefully today. Right, as you can see, I've rounded up the... Uh, there was three... An in fact, there was four animal trailers. One of them's already gone to the shop. And there's a conveyor there. There's that other conveyor that we forgot about up by the barn on the top of the hill. Must bring that down as well. We've got some new equipment in here. Well, new and used equipment in here. Um, got ourselves a six-metre subsoiler for ploughing the fields. It's used. Um, saved about a third off the price by buying used. Still does the same job. Um, cost me a couple of hundred to service it. Nothing needed replaced. It just needed tightened up and oiled and greased and what have you. So, bargain. Changed the, the field roller. The other one did have a problem. The, uh, the axle was seized up on the roller, so we couldn't use it. So I had to go and get a new one. But that's okay because... Uh, I found a mug, <laughs> I shouldn't say that, but I found a mug to buy the old one, who reckoned he could fix it, I didn't have time to fix it, and what he paid me for that was three times the price of this one, so yeah, pays to not worry about brands, doesn't it, so got this one, it's got a beacon on this one as well, I can flash the lights while I'm rolling. Um, Edge Industries, 4 meter roller, the other one was a 3 meter. This one does exactly the same job, but at a third of the price, and this was brand new. Um, over here, we changed out that 3 meter cultivator for a 6 meter cultivator. And this one, we did get new. It's needing a bit of a wash, but it's going to be in use again today. So, um, yeah. And again... This was cheaper than the one that we sold. We sold that... Um, oh, I've forgotten the name of it. The uh, the big cedar. The red and yellow one. Sold that. Got this. This cost us a few extra. We didn't... Um, the, the one that we sold, um, we got about 24000 for it. This one cost us 26000 but this is brand new, and uh, this is a 6 meter. It's a straightforward cedar, but being a 6 meter instead of a 3 meter, it means that uh, we get around the field in half the time. Same principle as changing the old 3 meter cultivator for this 6 meter. It means we only need to do half as many runs across the field to get it done. This I bought brand new, even though the wood looks quite old. Um, it is brand new absolute steal this seven and a half thousand that's what it cost me and it holds uh, just under 16,000 liters of lime or fertilizer but I'm going to uh, keep it as a dedicated lime wagon 
20 metre spread and ploughs around the field at 11 or 12 miles an hour, which is great. This, <laughs> remember I was telling you last episode about the 7250? We got an absolute bargain on this one. It's an import. Came from Germany, this one. It's a little bit worn, you can see. Second user. It's about three years... Well, it's had about three years active work, but it was stored in a barn. And the farm went bust. And it had been sat in the barn for years. And sat in the barn another couple of years after the farm went bust. And the dealer contacting one of his contacts in Germany got put in touch with the um, the lawyer who was handling the, the assets disposal for the farm and we got this for an absolute song um, this is a uh, 100 and sorry I'm telling you lies it's a 260 ish horsepower tractor wide wheels uh, weights on the wheels front and rear um, PTO and three point and it's it's a slow one it's it's one of the older 24 mile an hour um, series but what an absolute workhorse these things are I've had these before and they are fantastic so we ended up paying f uh, for that I'm trying to remember the price it was a about it was about seventy eight thousand we paid for this, and the John Deere we got one hundred and twenty eight thousand for it. So all in all, we ended up about fifty thousand in pocket, selling the John Deere and getting this gives us an ex extra hundred and ten horsepower over the John Deere, and it gives us the front three point that we didn't have bob well i had to splash out on a bob the new holland dealership up the road had them and uh, they didn't have many left because it's an old promotion when they were selling these but we had to have a bob helps us see our way around okay so there was that oh yes and the bargain of the century across here right look at that you see see that tractor yeah wide wheels on each corner wheel weights on the back um it's got the fz60 um front loader attachment even though it should only be carrying the fz30 but it's got the fz60 because it goes over the top of the three-point attachment and pto and operates without having to take that off came with the uh, regular forks pallet forks bale forks and the 2000 litre bucket and it came with this tractor how about that yeah it came with this tractor it came with this trailer to carry the tools in right the whole lot the tractor the front loader the three tools and the trailer cost me just under 74000 and again that was a total steal because I got just under 93,000 for the Armand track, Armour track. So, uh, 20,000 in pocket from selling the Armour track and getting this. And, I mean, all right, the, the tools are a bit worn. You know, they're showing a lot of use. So is the trailer. Um, but after a good service, they're as good as new in terms of operation. The tractor showing a little bit of wear here and there you can see the paints a bit scratched and scuffed and worn um, but overall again like the 7, uh, 7250 it's in a good condition this is the case uh, 1455 XL beast beast cyclone it's the uh, the beast engine again imported came across from Germany um, I've got to get that uh, license plate changed as well. Um, it's the beast with the cyclone um, air, air system on it, and it's oh, it's a racing machine. Thirty-one mile per hour on this, and it gives me a hundred and where are we? One hundred and sixty-five horsepowers. So 
This actually gives me 15 horsepower more than that John Deere did. How about that for a bargain, eh? Right, so... And we st I'm still looking for a buyer for that Rostel mash because I want to get a class um, harvester and the money that we'll get off that Rostel mash will pay for a third tractor. Um, we'll, we'll get more for the Rostel mash than we will pay for the class uh, harvester and the money that's left over from that will pay for a third tractor as a permanent carrier for the sprayer and the tank. Something a low horsepower, around about 120, 140 horses. Um, I'm I'm looking seriously at the Agrostar. I like the Agrostar. I've had a few of them, and they do the job perfectly. Okay, today's missions. We have got right. Um, we've got to get some, rid of some more of these. Got to get these up to the dealership. Um, they they've said they'll buy them all. Um, they'll pay for them as they're delivered. They, they've got a, a lad up there that likes restoring these, and they've got a yard full of these for sale. And apparently they get uh, steady buyers. So the, uh, the, apparently the, the hill farms like these little trailers for moving the pregnant sheep around. And uh, the various livery stables and private horse owners like these trailers for moving their horses around. So, okay, fair enough. What they do is they put an extension on the uh, sides to lift the roof up and the horses go in there quite happy. Um, so we'll get rid of them. Um, we've already sent uh, one of those um, small trailers up. We'll get that other conveyor down. I'll have to have a word with the lad at the um, dealership. Let him know we found another conveyor. Um, he's quite happy with them. He's got uh, quite a bit of demand for... Um, cheap used conveyor belts for some reason no idea from whom or why let's just get the field opened up today's first job is going to be to lime this field you can see we've already plowed it and we've had the roller out and we've uh, smoothed off the the field margins with those um rowers you mow uh, mowers and um a baler wrapper on the back we can go right around the field in one and it'll give us I would imagine 10 to 12 bales of silage at a time from the perimeter of the field so you know the fact that we lost a few inches on the, the field in places doesn't worry me because we'll make that up with the silage right so we've uh, plowed this it's time to get it limed let's get the liming tractor across and I'm using the 7250 for this. Want to blow some of the cobwebs out of the engine. And you can see I've pre-filled the trailer, filled it up last night. Oh, and that little shed straight ahead of us. That's our um, ready supplies shed. Seeds and lime and herbicide in there. And I'll get another one of them put probably alongside the shed where the tractors originally were down there a bit. Um, and we'll use that for the uh, liquid and solid fertilizers. Keep the fertilizers separate from the herbicides. That way we don't get them mixed up. And uh, can I get around here in one or am I going to... Oh, it was tight when I got there. Yay. Right. So, like I said, 20 meter spread on this. And yeah, I'm using the uh, the follow drone looking at this screen in the cab so that I can see where I'm going on this because I need to make sure I've got the width just send the drone backwards a bit get up a bit guy we want to see where we're at right so turn it on off we go just make sure that we're um, catching or well, we're not catching the edge of the field move over a bit that's better so that's about where we want to be yeah, we're losing just a little bit of lime. Let's go into the, the cabin and it looks like we've got to keep the outer edge of that uh, front fender on the edge of the, the ploughed area. Now I'm liming this before I cultivate it because then when we cultivate it, it'll turn the lime 
literally turn the lime into the soil turn it over into the soil um, and then after that we've got to get the first layer of fertilizer down ready for planting which the earliest we can plant is about two weeks away but I want to get this field prepped because I'm debating whether to convert one of the smaller pastures into another um, arable field that big field over there I want that to uh, mature the grass and then we'll mow it and bale it but for now let's just turn the lime off a minute oh turned it off too early well done guys and of course the crows are straight in there they think I'm turning the soil over, they're in looking for worms and stuff. Alright, let's uh, get the trailer in there. Let's just pop the line back on, close the gap on that. That should be it. Oh, we'll kill this uh, bald spot while we're here. Right. That should be done. Right, yep. Yeah. Now, go back the other way, put a wider border on, it'll just make it easier for doing the backwards and forwards. So yeah, it's a bit chilly this morning out, it's, um, temperature's barely getting above freezing, it's still, you know, quite early spring. Um, so just coming up to the end of February, start of March time. So therefore we need to uh, keep ourselves nice and warm and there's nothing better than sitting in a nice warm tractor cab, driving around a bumpy field, and getting our bones shaken, knocking our fillings out when our teeth rattle together. But at least we're warm, hey? That's what it's all about. And this is quite a quick job getting this lime down so I want to get this done and out the way as early as possible while we've got nice clear skies then we're not getting any rain or anything into the uh, the trailer turning the lime all lumpy which would make the distributor sputter and stutter and then we'd get a patchy coverage of lime keep going keep going there we are that's the way so just turn off a bit to take the corner. Let's put a nice curve on that corner. And spin it around and now we can do it backwards and forwards. Which will make the job oh. Oh well, well done guys. Turn too early again. Just cover that bit. And I'm turning the uh, the distribution from the trailer on and off as we're going round. Just trying to save a little bit of lime. I mean, it's it's dirt cheap, but why why waste money if we don't have to? Oh no, that's going to leave a bald strip up there. That's going to be wasting money. What does the drone say? Oh, looks like I got away with it. That's handy. <clears throat> These follow drones are excellent. So just to sh show you the aerial view of what we're doing. The um, the software in the drone, you set, you set it to recognize your vehicle and it follows your vehicle. So as you're turning, the drone turns and um, you can, using the touch screen in the cab, you can command it to, to go to the side of you and so on. Allows you this aerial view, which is really great. And I mean, you know, the, the technology is out there in um, commercial drones that, that are available for semi-pro use. Um, and a lot of people are using them for fully pro use. 
uh, DJI. DJI? Yeah, DJI. Um, Chinese company that makes the uh, the Phantom and a few other um, drones. They've got the uh, the soft. They've had the software in their drones for years. For with the uh, the follow cam uses um, shape recognition to recognize you or your vehicle or whatever, as well as color recognition, of course. C color helps it a lot. One reason for having red tractors, I suppose. Um, and they'll just follow you around the field all day. Well, as long as the batteries last. Another reason for getting the field done as quick as possible. The batteries only last about 30 minutes. So, it was the wife that got me into them. She wanted something for getting some unusual photos of the kids, and she was talking about a drone. She'd seen something on YouTube, so uh, I'm not going to get past that. No, I thought I wasn't going to get past that tree. Might have to go all the way around it and come back in. Sorry, Hedge. You can grow back. You haven't started sprouting yet, so. Ugh. Luckily, there's no dike on that hedge. It's just a... It actually looks like quite a new hedge, quite a young hedge. Might only have been down a couple of years. Probably fence fell apart, so they put hedging in. That's fair enough. Problem with hedges, of course, is that they're more... They actually turn out to be more maintenance than a fence. Because you've got to cut the damn things every year. Oh, and I forgot to turn the, I forgot to turn the lime off. Given the option, I would never have a hedge around the house. I'd always use a fence. Much, much less hassle taking care of them. So, as you can see, it doesn't take long at all to do these fields. I mean, 20 metre spread is, is not the biggest out there. There's a lot of um, trailers that will do a 24 metre. I think I saw a 28 metre as well. But at the price... You know, seven and a half thousand for this trailer, brand new, in the colour of my choice, and I ch I chose that sort of creamy whitey colour um, for the lime, so that um, it's easy to identify which one's which. I'm thinking of getting a second one and having the uh, the dry fertilizer in that on a permanent basis, and have a, a trailer dedicated to each of the dry products because you know I mean like I say seven and a half thousand you just can't beat it can you and apparently the, the spares are easily available so it's not going to be a problem servicing them and taking care of them doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. nearly done now, by the time we get this done, and then we go back, we wash the trailer and the, the tractor, and hitch, well, we don't need to wash the tractor because it's coming straight back out again, but hitch up the cultivator and get back across here. The lad from the Young Farmers Club should be here. He's willing to work for cheap just to get these practice driving the tractor and operating the tools so why not we'll let him have a go at um, cultivating the field for us I might I'll look at the time I might have to put the um, the field edging boundary in because oh, I should be over to the left a bit yeah god I messed that up didn't I yeah not so much I, I thought could have been worse 
See, talking, flying the drone, doing everything except concentrating on my driving. Hello, we've got a baldy patch here, what's that? Is that it gone? Looks like it. Another one there. Right. Well, let's just see what the sat nav says. Did we miss anything? Let's have a look. We missed one, two little, two tiny little spots. One of them's dead ahead of us. Right. Let's uh, let's get them. Yeah, there it is. It's another nice thing about the drone, it helps you to to go straight to the bold spots. And the other one was over here somewhere. And I can see it already, thanks to the drone. There it is. that catch it? Can't tell. It looks like it did. Okay, uh, sat nav, what do you reckon? Did we get them all? Uh, yep, we did. Okay. So, we can uh, go wash the trailer, refill it, put it away, and hook up the cultivator. And maybe by that time the young lad from the the young farmers will be here and he can do the actual cultivating he was quite excited when he heard that i was getting a six meter cultivator because he's on his dad's only ever let him drive the the three meter or use the three meter i should say not drive it tow it so the chance to drive a, a bigger unit And he's, you know, he's a competent, competent enough um, driver, so why not? Right, let's just clean this down. Yeah, give the give the tractor a quick. Yeah, there we go. Right. around the back clean the doinses there we go give this side of the tractor a quick wash down morning Bob give Bob a quick wash get rid of his freckles there we are oh, better put the uh the wand back on the thing. There we go. But I can't get that into there in one go. A great idea at these sheds because what I do there's a little debris on the inside of them and as I fill up the trailers I punch into it how much I've used and the uh, the dealership tells me how much that's going to cost on my bill at the end of the month which is a great idea right let's um, fill it up with lime then it's ready for the next time that we need it Thanks to the uh, the miracles of modern computing, even though it's not been taken off the bank yet, my um, my digital bank balance meter gets updated to say well seven one thousand seven hundred and eighty two that lime cost me, 
and it gives me what the new balance will be on the bank account once that's actually been taken out of the bank so it means I'm uh, looking ahead in real time that's uh, 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 come on come on come on oh come on guys you're making a right pig's ear of this talk about make like a snake what do you think it is a combat zone Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't scuff that trailer. They've already seen it and agreed the price on it. Don't damage it up for, ready for them turning up to, to collect it. Oh, gas. Come on. Not quite used to this case. I know I've had them before, but... You speak to anybody who buys the same model of car every few years, and they'll tell you that every car... Even though it's the same model, they handle and drive differently. They've all got their own personality. It's the same with tractors. Right, so we'll drop that there. It's almost perfect parking. Right, uh, what were we, we were wanting the cultivator, weren't we? Yeah. Yeah, I was right. I'm going to have time to do a quick quick perimeter of the field before the lad turns up. Get left a bit. There we go. There we are. Give the the drone a rest. It's got to change the batteries. I saw the the wife heading across the road there to collect it when it lands. And she'll change the batteries and put it back up for us. I was hoping she was bringing a cup of coffee across, but nah, no such luck. Probably tell me to make my own. <laughs> I mean, she's a good lass. She takes care of me a treat, but until she's had her third coffee in the morning, she's like me. Absolutely useless before the third one. Well, certainly in terms of speaking with people, just stay out of the way. Now, you can see I've been round, I've uh, trimmed the trees on the edge of this field, taken the low low hanging branches off, trying to reduce the, the risk of uh, snagging on any of the vehicles. Take another one there. Oh, I've got to take those, uh, those branch remains off on that ne one next to it. Still no sign of the lad. So, do. Oh, I think I caught the gate there. Uh, yeah, it looks like I caught the gate there. Let's just reposition.
Do another run round the field. And I've just realised how long this is taking, looking at uh, how long I've been recording. The, uh, the battery meter on the camera is flashing at me, so I'm going to have to wind this up and uh, catch you up in the next episode where we finish the rest of today's tasks. So what I'll do, I'll carry on with this, I'll get the field finished, and um, I'll see you in the next one. If you're enjoying the series... Give it a thumbs up, leave your comments down below, tell me what you, you like about it, what you'd like to see, and I'll try and accommodate it. And uh, if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Every subscriber helps me on my uh, mission to get remonetized after Google instructed YouTube, I think that was what happened to be honest, to uh, demonetize all the small ch smaller channels so that they weren't making millions of small payments to people who just didn't have the viewership and anyway that's all politics let's let's leave the politics out of this it's farming simulator it's nice and relaxing it's a nice chilled game and i enjoy it thoroughly so I'll see you in the next episode. This is Gazbeard cultivating his field, waiting for the lad from the Young Farmers Club to come and take over the tractor. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.